Aren't these the most magnificently outlandish birds you've ever seen? They are, of course, the grey-crowned crane. And I think they're very magnificent indeed. If you listen very carefully, you might just be able to hear them going... They sound like sort of chickens with a slightly trumpetish voice. Let me play you their call. Crane. Search. Great ground. This is what they sound like. Good God. No idea that they sound quite that horrific. <laughs> Another fairly amusing part of the morning is Tristan's question. He says, uh, he's quite envious of their hairstyles, am I? Absolutely I am. I mean, those are magnificent hairdos they've got there. Tristan, uh, you've got a lot of hair, my friend, but I'm afraid you will not, not even you will be able to pull off something like that. They look a little bit like Taylor when she's just got out of bed in the morning. I wonder if Taylor would appreciate that. There, that's a live call. I've been inspired by the bird app I've got. Fantastic stuff. Now, Ross, you say they're endangered. Yeah, they are. Crown cranes are not... And most crane species, actually, throughout the world are endangered. And this is no exception. And, I mean, you get two different kinds of crowned cranes. You get the black crowned crane and the grey crowned crane. This one is obviously the grey version. And they are endangered. And I'm just wondering, I don't... The One of my other bird apps might give us a little bit of information about how many there are left in the world. Crane. No, not canary. It's a ruin it. There we go. Grey crowned crane. Uncommon to locally common resident, listed as vulnerable in South Africa due mainly to loss of breeding range and reduction of suitable habitat. Global population estimates to be about 10,000 birds. The southern African population about six to 7,000, so about 3,000 in this region. So yes, vulnerable, not necessarily endangered, but certainly vulnerable. I just want to see exactly what they eat. Omnivorous, apparently, they eat seeds, eaten leaves. Frogs, lizards, rodents, shrews, small children, and nuts. I made up the last two. Cutworms, armyworms, millipedes, crabs, grasshoppers, and beef stroganoff. And James, you're wondering about nesting habits. Well, it just so happens that the uh, bird app I have will tell us that. Nests built on aquatic vegetation. So they're often associated with marshy areas like this one. Uh, and in Botswana, you'll find them, I guess, or you'll find the wattle cranes, certainly, in the delta. Also nests on dry ground and occasionally in trees on old stick nests. Usually a clutch size is three eggs. Incubation 29 to 31 days, both sexes will help to warm the eggies. Shall we play their call once more? I want to see if I can induce a live call. I know it's a little bit nasty, but it's just so funny. I'll use the different bird app this time, because this bird app might have a slightly better recording. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's much more attractive than the one we had before. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,